speaker is Frank Corner, who's going to speak on behalf of the three chief executives of Wicklow County Council, Wexford County Council, and Waterford County Council. Frank. Thanks, Michael. Uh, uh, ministers, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the chief executives of the three local authorities, can I extend a deeply felt thank you for all of you for attending today, and in particular our friends and colleagues uh, from Wales. This project is directed by cooperation, cooperation between project partners, between local authorities and state agencies, and all tourism providers, from camping and camping, dining and dancing, experiences and escapades. The funding for the Celtic Groups project has come from the European Territorial Cooperation Programme, known as Interreg, or the Ireland Wales Programme. It's 1.9 million. We have confirmation that this will not be affected by Brexit, in respect of what happens. And for just under 20,000 a year, each local authority avails of a marketing campaign that's worth almost 2 million. It's hugely significant in terms of driving the tourism product in this part of the country, getting people into our towns and villages to stay overnight and travel some of the roads that's travelled on, as you've seen here today. And Carmartonshire is the project lead partner. Project partners are Carmartonshire County Council, Caradigian County Council, Pembrokeshire Coastal Plat, Waterford City and County Council, Wexford County Council, and finally Wicklow County Council. Wexford County Council are the Irish lead partner, and that's where the Irish project officer is based, working closely with tourism officers in each of the three local authority areas. And I'd like to wish Una and all the partners the very best of luck as we move into the implementation phase of this really exciting project. Thank you very much. <laughs> 